Hey Fuerte friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Trisha Fuerte and this is Fuerte Body. For those of you who are new Fuerte friends, hi, hello, welcome. Thanks for subscribing. You may be subscribed to me now because as you've been seeing on my shorts or my TikTok, I talk about how I'm an artist and a social worker in NYC. And you know what? This is what I want to center all of my videos on now where to body is a space for everybody to celebrate and take care of their bodies but also for those who are using their creative bodies of work towards liberation as a tool for liberation as um, a space and a way to express themselves to celebrate and protect and uplift the communities that we care about and the communities that we are part of. Um, I've been watching some YouTube videos to help grow our community of Fuerte Friends and I heard that long intros are out. So <laughs> let me just cut it there. After our Fuerte Body Break. If you don't know what Fuerte Body Breaks are and you want to get like a brief of what Fuerte Body Breaks are, here I go, I'm going on and on. Stay tuned after this. But now we are answering the question that I asked at the end of yesterday's Fuerte Body Break. So this is our 29th Fuerte Body Break. And at the end of yesterday's, if you didn't watch it, go ahead and watch it. Um, I asked, can we hold artists accountable the answer is absolutely yes, because we're seeing it now with the BDS movement. We are seeing it because basically everybody who is against genocide, which is you because you're a Fuerte friend, everybody is no longer buying from Starbucks, buying from, buying from McDonald's, and they are hitting them where it hurts to the point where Starbucks and McDonald's are making statements. It is, you can do a quick Google search and see that their sales are hurting because people are against how they are funding this genocide happening in Palestine. So we absolutely can do the same for artists. We could easily not go to, go to their tours, not watch their specials online, we can not stream their music, not buy their albums, not buy their merch, and we can make statements online. We can start the hashtags. We could disrupt at shows. Speaking of disrupting at shows and holding, holding institutions accountable because as artists, well, I feel like where we are right now, we are coming to learn the difference between celebrities and the difference between artists and celebrities are institutions just like educational institutions and speaking of accountability after this well after this I have therapy but then afterwards I am going to NYU to support the student encampment and if you don't know what's happening Universities across the country are following Columbia University and starting on campus encampments to demand these rich institutions. So I was part of the Payment for Placements Organizing Committee at NYU and NYU's um, their endowment is like six billion dollars and then Columbia's is like 13 billion dollars these schools are rich and these schools own the most land in New York City and they also have ties to isn't real uh, NYU has a Tel Aviv campus and NYU is also suppressing students who are speaking up for Palestine so we can absolutely we can absolutely hold these institutions including big artists accountable including like the award season i didn't watch any this this is the first as of somebody who a re recovering um awards season obsessed person i did not watch this year because it's just so dystopian for all of those really rich, really powerful people to be all dolled up and then celebrating <laughs> um, works of art, but like for who? And, and, and then being 
complicit or actively participating and actively supporting the genocide happening in Palestine. So we can start things like that. It also makes me think about when, (laughs) speaking of recovering uh, past 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 uh, practices um I used to soul cycle and then when all that hullabaloo came out about their their president being a huge Trump uh funder or something like that um they literally I stopped going to soul cycle a lot of the instructors that I I loved and went to their classes and the reason I even liked it they quit and then a lot of a lot of people stopped stopped going to soul cycle also and they started closing soul cycle studios down it 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 is absolutely possible it is absolutely possible so without further ado let me wrap this up so i could go to therapy we have our affirmation of the day but now we have two affirmations because one is we as a people can absolutely hold these artists these celebrities i should say accountable and these institutions accountable okay So we're going to have our affirmation of the day. Oh, not me ripping it. Okay, okay. You gotta, maybe I'll get a mic stand. Okay. Oh, it's a dancing one. I continue to grow as a talented, strong, passionate, storytelling, energetic, sexy dancer every day, and I'm gaining nonstop opportunities to showcase my love for dance. If you're a dancer, you are continuing to grow as a talented, strong, passionate, storytelling, energetic, sexy dancer every day, and you are now gaining nonstop opportunities to showcase your love for dance. Um, I love that. I love that. Um, let's drink our water. I need to figure out how I could get this little phone this phone stand to stay. Um, but let's drink our water. Cheers. <sighs> Did you drink your water? Did you drink it? Don't forget to drink your water. Um, if you're at NYC, bring some water to the encampments at Columbia, NYU, New School. Um, just be on the lookout. They are posting lots of lots of requests. Um, also, just just get out there to surround them and be with them and support them. Strengthen numbers. Be safe out there. Don't forget to mask. Um, and thanks for tuning in to this Sport to Body Break. Thank you so much. And for those of you who are still here and you're like, I want to learn what a where to body break is, where to body breaks are a moment for me to check in with my body, remind y'all to check in with your bodies. They are unedited, unfiltered, raw files, raw feelings, straight from the heart, straight to the phone, straight to cap cut, to add closed captionings, and then straight to YouTube. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in and we will be back tomorrow to be talking more about artist accountability, what art is speaking to me right now in this moment in time. As Nina Simone's quote says, the art that we create should be reflecting the time. So I hope you are taking care of your bodies um, in order to do so. So much love to all of you, all my fellow artists, all of my fellow art enjoyers, <laughs> my Fuerte friends, all my love, always and always. I'm Trisha Fuerte, and this is Fuerte Body. <laughs>